but I'm not gonna be as bombastic. Welcome to this not as enthusiastic let's play of Exit Corners. I don't wanna be here. I just don't wanna die. Bother. Live anymore. I just wanna die so badly. Okay. Hen, are you recording? What? Are you recording? Yes. You caught all of that? Oh, I caught no. all of Alex's singing, yes. <laughs> I, I got that from an Instagram post that was entitled When You've Been Driving for 12 Hours. Sure. I guess that's exactly what I feel when I've been yeah. driving for 12 hours. As if anyone using Instagram does that, you know? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a trucker's life, not an Instagram user's life. It, it was two truckers that ye were on Instagram. No well, such thing. Well, if there was a way of screen sharing on the phone, I could show you, but there is no way of screen sharing on my phone. They must be catfishing or something. Yeah, those catfish. I'll just send it to you tomorrow, Henry. Uh -huh. The garden. The garden. The of... garden. The garden. The hopper. The garden. The garden. Maybe this is like the last area of the first door. Wait, what? Beg your pardon? The doors? Maybe this is the last area of the first door. Oh, I get what he's saying. The last area of the I think he door. means a corner. Why do you say that? Well, it's relevant to one of the players. Or, yeah, the players. Contestants. They wouldn't make a random wait, level wait. relevant to a contestant. Wait, which door did we pick? Did we pick the green door? Yeah. And what did which thing did Sense say? Did he say if you pick the green? Relish the past was green. Ah. So definitely meaning Beth. And green also is used to represent one of the four elements. Is it? I don't remember any of the four elements. Earth, wind, fire, and earth. <laughs> earth, wind, earth. fire, and earth. Water. What? Water. That's earth, wind, fire, and water. No, it's earth, water, fire, and air. Yeah, oh, that's wind and air are exchangeable, though. No. The last airbender. The last airbender. Is Get Ink the last uh, airbender? Ink is as. <laughs> what a stupid plot that would be. Yeah, Ang gets kidnapped. What were the other colors of the door? There was the red one. <laughs> was there also like a white one and a, a red, um, blue one? Man, I don't, I don't remember. I could look it up. Gonna. Um, we were only see. given information on the green and red door so far. But well, we didn't even yep. know the color of the other two. That is correct. Yep. Blue and white, or blue and yellow. Black and yellow, maybe. Um, I will after that joke. <laughs> yeah, that bombed real hard. Can we get started, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. All right, head count. Present. Brian. Here. <laughs> Matt. What? Okay, Matt's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also here. So let's get started. Do you after wish 15. you weren't here? I do. Fancy that. Here anyway. <laughs> the, wait, the, chapter 13. Garden. Oh. Chapter 13, the garden. I didn't do that for chapter 11, by the way. You, you mean 12? No, 11. Oh. Darn. Let's get. Beth? The old woman refused to speak. Come on, say something. You've got us worried. Beth, adamant in her silence, shot Ink a cold glare. So what? Is she just gonna sit there forever? Ink stepped away from the tree. He was worried about Beth, but felt that his prodding fell on deaf ears. Because she's so old. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> the other contestants seemed happy to leave her alone. Would it kill someone else to go talk to her? Anyone? Maybe. Do you have any idea what's up with her? Well, she said the garden was hers. I guess she has, or had, a garden that looked a lot like this one. Alright, hold on, I just gotta, just gotta, okay, just one second, just, okay. just gotta, okay, I bet just Earl is buried under the tree. That's messed up. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just the arriving. The one in the real garden, Chris. Hey, this is a real garden, probably. No, the one in Beth's real garden. <laughs> That's my best guess, anyway. It must have meant a lot to her. Yeah. The room grew, <laughs> the room grew quiet, save for the sound of Ray stomping through the foliage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this place. Even Liza was quiet. She was whispering, which Shank figured was a first for her. Wow. But has she been yelling the entire time? She doesn't... We haven't really voiced her in a way to where she could ever yell. Yeah, it's always the same kind of tone. Yeah. What, you don't like plants? Do you not feel it? Something about this whole room is wrong. I don't want to linger here any longer than we need to. All right, everyone, listen up. I've just had a tour of this place. Yeah, we heard. Did you find anything? All the walls are just painted concrete, solid all the way around, so far as I can tell. There's only one door in here, and that's the one we came through, so unless there's a hidden door somewhere, we'll need to head back the way we came. It is the end of the lab. It's a dead end, then. Remember what Sent said about the four elements? There were four pathways, each of which led to a corner. That's why it's called Exit Corners. I got it. We exit the corners. Then this room must be a corner. Huh. And each corner has a key. At least that's what Sent said. Are we gonna have to, like, dig up the spot that she buried her, uh her child, so then we get the key. Oh, you're actually well, buying maybe that? we have to solve the I puzzle mean, like, first. I think I think that's a pretty, pretty, you know, cool explanation, but it's probably not going to be that fun, you feel me? Yeah. It's not going to be a digging minigame. The problem is that I have no idea where the key is or even what it looks like. Did your cursory search turn up any puzzles? Not yet. There's a monitor at the back, but right now it's just a blank screen. Anything else of note? Those are the biggest mushrooms I've ever seen in my life, so that's something. That's very true. Other than that, no. Nothing obvious anyways. That's my no of any secrets, I mean. If this is her garden, she'd know it front to back. Right? Yeah, you'd think so. All eyes turned to Beth. She her son killed herself in the puzzle. But nobody moved. Everyone's afraid to talk to her. Ink was no exception. He had always considered Beth the most grounded of the group. But... What was he to do when their most well-adjusted member shut herself down and refused to communicate? The other contestants appeared to share Ink's apprehension. Even Aether seemed to be waiting for someone else to make the first move. Well, someone needs to say something or we'll never get out of here. Ink took an awkward step forward. Fine, I'll have a word with her. Ink reached out to her. Oh, that's neat. Huh. Alright, Beth. <laughs> look at our face, dude. We look so disgusted. What the heck? Is that blood on us? Is that, like, from the last thing? 
Is there blood on us? I think it's just poor drawing. Yeah, that might just be shading, but it's like... I don't know. Do you think this is a camera in the tree? That'd be neat. Possibly. I know you probably want some time to think, but we need your help now. Take good care of the garden. It's the last thing he ever said to me. You mentioned that. For what it's worth, I did take good care of it. I didn't muck that up at least. But it wasn't easy, you know? No, it wasn't easy at all. It's an impressive sight. The garden, I mean. I'm sure it took a lot of work. Do you have a favorite book, Ink? That I do. And how many times have you read that book? Hmm? Seven times, I think. Maybe eight. Jeez. What do you think would happen if you read it one thousand times? I don't know. I've never thought about it. If you repeat the same task for long enough, my dear, you start to go mad. Things are so trite, so stagnant, that your brain begins to see changes where there are none. Wasn't this hedge in a different spot yesterday? Was this how the rocks under the tree were arranged? Did I tear this mushroom by accident, or was it always like this? That sounds awful. And that's not where it ends either! When your mind rots for a long time, your body follows suit. Even simple tasks, watering a flower, pulling a weed, become debilitating if you do them for decades on end. Then why didn't you stop? Why did you keep it at, keep at it for so long? Ink trailed off as Beth finally stood up. Her skin was pale, her eyes red. Because that's all I had left! What's she going on about? Is this really your garden, Beth? I'm afraid I can't answer that. My garden no longer looks like this. Even if it were still alive, there's no way it could have been transferred to the four elements in such perfect condition. By all accounts, this place should not exist. It is simply impossible. I... Well... She collapsed. She writhed about for a moment, then brought her hand to her nose just in time to catch a fistful of bloody phlegm. Beth! First me, then Liza, now Beth? We must all have it then. But is there something specific that triggers it? Beth took a moment to wipe the blood from her face before standing back up. Her legs were shaking. I don't quite understand it, but I'm happy. I never thought I'd see this place again. How could Seth do this? Why would he do this? I don't know, Beth. Ink wanted to ask her about the garden, about the key. But bit... oh, bit, okay. But bit his tongue. He needed to choose his words carefully. In the center! Underground! W what I'll have you know that I've got excellent hearing. I know you're looking for a key, and while I don't know what it looks like, I feel like I might know where it is. If this garden is indeed a replica of my own, then it does hold one well kept secret. If there is something hidden in my garden, then that's where you'll find it. In the very center of the garden beneath the earth. Ayo. Well, it's a well kept secret. She already told us he killed himself. Like, that's not a secret. No, it's that he's buried here, Henry. Oh. Well, I know mm -hmm. here. Got it. Thanks, Beth. Ink pulled away, only for Beth to grab his wrist. Ink! What is it, Beth? Whatever else you find under that tree, please don't judge me. She shot her son. 
She shot her son. What? Jeez, what? At least I guess the How body fell. How was right? under the tree? I wouldn't dream of it. Very well. Beth let go of his sleeve, put her hands on her lap, and grew quiet once again. The others were staring at Ink. Will you, will you guys help me dig up whatever's under the soil? Of course I will. With no tools? Let's get sweating. The two of them made their way to the center of the room, kicked aside a few stones, and began to dig. At least they're eager enough to help with the dirty part of the job. Now all that's left is... Liza. You want me to help too? I can't force you, but you ought to. Manual labor isn't really my thing. Then what is your thing? I, um... Whatever. Can you at least pretend to be a decent human being and keep that poor woman company while we dig? <laughs> dot dot dot. It's like talking to a log. Fine, do whatever you want. Ink left flies into her thoughts. Ray and Aether were already hard at work digging. Ink moved to an untouched patch of soil and drove his hands into the earth. The soil was soft and cool to the touch. He grabbed a lump with both hands and threw it behind him. Pebble-peppered dirt found its way under Ink's fingernails as he continued to dig. He was panting before long, growing more tired with every uncovered inch. This is going to take forever. Oh guys, over here! Ink stopped digging, hopeful that Aether had found something. I forgot I was on push to talk. <laughs> I was digging right over here, and eventually I hit something hard. At Aether's feet, in the hole, wait, at Aether's feet, in the hole that she had dug, lay a small wooden chest. Dirt clinged to its sides. Ink picked it up. What is it? Some sort of box? Looks more like a chest to me. Interesting. Doesn't look like any chest I've ever seen. What are those tabs at the top? No idea. Go on. Open it. Why doesn't Ray just open it? Useless. The lid was sealed tight. No good. There's a lock in place. I'll smash it open then. That won't work! You won't be able to break it open! Not without tools! Open it for us, then. You know how, right? I'm afraid not. This is your chest, isn't it? How could you not know? It's her son's chest. Well, I don't think you can fit a body in there, so I was wrong. Her Did son's chest? Her son is her Brian? <laughs> yeah, really, kick him out now. <laughs> we were having a conversation when you read that line. It appears the set has replaced the standard lock with some other mechanism. A puzzle? That's a safe bet, I'd say. Well, if we don't know the solution, we ought to try busting this thing open. It'd be the fastest way to get the key. I'm pretty confident I could rip that thing in half. I would prefer if you didn't. Beth, asking us to figure out how your stupid box works is a blatant waste of time. Would you mind giving it a try, Ink? You seem especially good at puzzle solving. Oh, ignore me. Fine. Real mature. As if we haven't been given enough puzzles for one day. Please, it would mean a lot to me. Be more cryptic, why don't you? I think we should do what she asks of us, Ink. Sure, the chest is a little strange, but it doesn't look too complicated. 
Oh, come on. Let's break it open already. I refuse to spend my time toying with this woman's garbage. But, Ray... I swear to God, Ink, if you waste your stupid time on this chest... I mean, let's just figure it out. Okay, yeah, let's... figure it out. Ray yeah, will be mad, but That's Ray is always content. mad. I'll figure it out. You fucking give me that. Calm down, Ray. This'll take five minutes, tops. It won't make or break our escape. Beth is going through a lot right now, it seems. We can do this one little thing for her. Take any longer than five minutes, and I'm gonna wrestle it out of your hands and beat you over the head with it. Oh, and I won't be helping you. You're on your own, pal. As if he's been much help anyway. Yeah, really. Mm. That's fine by me. Go for a walk or something. Ray left with an angry stride. Ink paid him no mind. Thank you, Ink. I appreciate it. God bless. This had better be worth it, Beth. Well, we all know Scent would try to blow up one of those parts of the building if they cheated. Oh, well, look at that look animation. At yeah, those graphics. Damn. Alright, we can... we can. Ah! So they all have to be green, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can. Oh, oh, yeah, you can select them. Okay, okay so now so... we only have one left. No. Nope. Wait, what do you mean, one left? Oh, I'm assuming we have to turn them all green. Oh. I was just, like, fiddling. But yeah, that makes sense. I, I was just, like, figuring out, you know, like, the pattern. Right. Interesting. Okay, so this one moves those three. This one moves those four. Did I choose this one? Uh, what? This I'll one. move the so, move the one there next to them or across. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. All right. So am I just gonna? I'm just gonna fiddle. Is that? Yeah, I mean. We can brute force this eventually. Oh, so there's all three. Yeah. What do you mean there's all three? On one side. Now we I just... mean, yeah. That's one. And then... Okay, okay. Just gotta go in the line, you know what I mean? I like yes. I'm just gonna follow this one. That's what happened. <laughs> oh, all great. Yeah. <laughs> so does this... Do you think there's actually a timer for five minutes? I sure hope not, because I am slow. Oh, boy. Mentally and physically. You're physically enabled to click the mouse key. I'm more than just physically. I keep doing this. <laughs> you keep more doing just... the same stuff? Yeah, I wish I knew what it was at the beginning. Because I feel like that maybe would have helped. Uh, but I mean, I don't remember. Either. Bottom yeah, left either. green, top right green. Is that it? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Oh, oh okay. man, we so close. My magnum opus shall be this victory. Edge, go back. So close, yet no cigar. So close, yet so far. Now, wait, wait, go back to that other one. And then click the middle one on the right. No, that's wrong. Very close, though. Oh. Hmm. Mm. So we have five. <laughs> I'm switch the bottom corner. Other corner. Now the um other corner. You gotta give us like a top or bottom. The other bottom corner. Left or right. Or... Do the top. 
No, the other one. Sorry. Holy crap, Brian! Give Just me a give direction. A yeah, give a top left or bottom right. You know. This one's gonna move all four of these, right? Or three. Yeah. Three. If we could just get that bottom right one negative and then do middle right. We need this. We need like this and that to be green. Yeah. Yeah. And then, well, actually, we. And then this to be black. So let's want to try to. We'll try to work for that. But then these three and these three would also have to be black. We need only two to be green. So we'd need to fiddle with that. Close. But this one's gonna flip those. This is not the kind of puzzle I do well at. This is like a Rubik's Cube. I do love me some cubic rubes. Man, do I hate me some Rubik's Cube, I tell you what. <laughs> I probably haven't solved a single one in my life without cheating. I've never solved one at all. Huh. I mean, I just rip the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Oh, really? I did that with one of them, and then we ruined it. You sound like a cheater there, buddy. I've only ever cheated in that. Go back, go back! Switch that. This one? Yeah. That's what I was thinking, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, the wow. problem is like... Yeah, it looked right when I thought of it, but... Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, never mind. What? Oh, click that one, maybe? Uh, uh, yeah, check it. Just check it anyway. Come on! <laughs> Damn it. No, we got this. Don't oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, and then. Oh, you like that? Okay. Just making sure. Sure, whatever. I was gonna do middle right, but. No. Oh, wait, well, I'll go back then. Nope, that doesn't help at all. That doesn't help. Close. Hmm. This one flips. Oh, okay, I guess I got confused by my own creation. Alright, so let's. Now you know how God feels. Let's actually think about this logically. So, yeah. like. So, what gets us this? This is exactly what we need. What gets us this is one of these blocks. Like, at at the situation we're in right now, like can this you click, is exactly. Can you click like the corner one so I know which one they affect? These two. Yeah. Which ones do they affect? These two. Oh, okay. So they just affect the adjacent ones, and the middle ones affect all the ones on that side, and the one middle on the other side. Yeah. So that's that's. The rules of the game now we need to figure out how to like order them i guess from here so like we want this is what we want right here correct except this side needs to be blank yes so how do we get that how do we get this side blank from here and yeah. then turn it back Because, I mean, I don't think it matters if it's all green or all black, right? Uh, that, there's no way that's a criteria. Yeah, I it, think it, I think at least one has to be green. Middle while they are changing. What? Try clicking the middle button while they're changing. All to the spaz out. <laughs> you trying to cheese the game like that? Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Oh, now that we know we can do it. But, uh, 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 and you can move Machu. <laughs> Are you just gonna keep doing that until we have a brain blast or something? Interesting. It's, uh, I'm not clicking anything, wait, wait. by the way. Oh, you're not? No. I'm just running my hand across. Wait, oh, that's that not good. Is it broken now? Wait. Isn't that exactly what we want? Oh. Crap. Hold no. on. Are oh, you kidding? How did we get them all? Wait, wait, this it is- needs Wait, we to got be it. Green. Wait, we got it, we got it. No, turn it back, turn it back. Turn it back? Top right, bottom left, right? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. We did it. Hey, I, I finally solved the puzzle. Wait, well, Yay. you're not gonna give me any credit for that, Bucko? I get 100% credit, I don't share. <laughs> Brian Navarro, who are you? <laughs>
Hey, I'm more dignified than that. Well, Chris, I give you credit for giving them all black, and then, you know, I just took that last step. Hey, thanks, buddy. Huh. Oh, did you get it? How did you manage? I had to press on some of the tiles while the other tiles were spinning. It was the only way to make them all the same color. Wait, that was big brained of me. I, I knew what I was doing. Right there, you see? Just, I knew it. Huh. Good. Strange. Doesn't this defeat the point of a puzzle? The puzzle has already been solved. Let's not dwell on it. A gloomy bat shook her head. Ink's brow furrowed in confusion. Go on, open it. Maybe we'll get some answers. The chest contained row upon row of neatly stacked bills. Resting at the top of the pile was a translucent keycard with a green insignia. Oh hey my lie. god, your kid was breaking bad. That's the key. It must be, but... There's gotta be a couple million in here. Is this your money, Beth? There was a silence for a time. I wish it weren't. I really wish it weren't. She was a drug lord. No, her son was. Oh. What, are you hiding it from the revenue agency or something? It's tainted money. I want nothing of it. Where'd you score that kind of cash, Beth? Life insurance. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Condolences. Thank you. That's that's terrible. I'm so sorry, Beth. Well, it wouldn't be tainted money if if he just died. So she shot him. 100%. Maybe it's a different type of life insurance. She her son. Insurance fraud. She killed her son. Say, Beth. What's wrong, Ink? Why do you have that look on your face? Because Ink knows something you don't! Me too. <laughs> they usually don't give out life insurance for suicides, Beth. I am aware. Then... The kids weren't insured, of course. But Ellen was, and her husband too. What? Your daughter? When the walls of the house began to shake, I just froze up. I tell myself no, that because I don't quite understand what was happening. Earthquakes that fierce were almost unheard of out west, so none of the buildings had been built to withstand them. We had mere seconds to react. All six of us. Six. 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 Your entire family's dead, not just your son. Darn. Oh, Beth. The last thing I remember was seeing my granddaughter look up at the skylight half a second before the roof collapsed on top of her. Her face. Her eyes. I'll never forget her scream. I wonder how old she was. The bluntness and horror of Beth's account almost made Ink laugh. Thankfully, Beth was staring at the ground and never saw his smile. It disappeared from his face in an instant. This <laughs> this goddamn psycho. We are, yeah, we are messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this the second time? Oh, uh, I feel like... I don't remember the first time. I feel like we've chapter smiled. One. Was it chapter one? We smiled at something we shouldn't have. How it could was I... Oh, go. Sent said... I think it was Sent said, or you could die for the first time. Uh... And then Ink felt like laughing, and then he started bleeding. Wow. How could I laugh at that? What's wrong with me? I woke up in a hospital bed with Earl standing over me. I had been unconscious for three whole months. They didn't expect me to wake up from that dreamless sleep. Honestly, I wish I never had. How is it that your, you and your son survived? The 
the world saw fit to cool me. I suppose. As for my son, he wasn't even there that day. I was watching over his daughter for him. Needless to say, I couldn't have done a worse job. Pearl wasted no time blaming me for what had happened, accusing me of saving myself instead of helping the rest of our family. I couldn't help but be angry right back at him. I told him if he'd gone around that day, things might have gone differently. We fought and fought until finally furious that his daughter had been robbed of her future. He cut all ties with me. That was the last time I'd spoken to him. Until today. I thought he said I thought he put the, the, the gun in his mouth and then Yeah, she was lying she must have been lying. Well, maybe until today means that he killed himself like like, you know. I'm kinda confused about some, but I'll talk about it. You never once tried to get back in touch with him? Yeah, me too. I contemplated for a time. The insurance money was better left with him, I thought. I tried contacting him in the end, but he never returned my calls. I grew worried. Eventually, someone in his apartment complex complained about the stench. Earl's body had begun to liquefy. Oh, I guess he left a note. Wait, what? Your son is dead? He never left a note, but I suppose he couldn't live with the grief. Well then when did he say take care of the garden? Why didn't you say anything sooner? I thought he was your contact. I'm afraid I can't explain that part. Arr, I can't believe this. It was you who said that it'd be best if we didn't keep any secrets. You're saying that you have believed me? If I had mentioned my son's death and sudden resurrection, you would have all ripped me off as a senile mess. Even now, I'm sure you don't believe what I've just told you. I don't have an opinion on that yet. Well, that's my story. Belief or disbelief rests with you. Either way, I'm going to spend whatever time I have left missing my family. You could die. Or I could die? Sin, you leave right now. You rev scaly in you. Beth let out a meek laugh. And could <laughs> help follow up with a little chuckle of his own. Huh? Why am I. Nitrous oxide! Otherwise known as laughing gas. I imagine Sin has been slowly filling the room with it for the last few- Very good, Beth. Though I imagine that any self-respecting RN would deduce the same thing. Tell me, Beth, what happens after prolonged exposure to, uh, exposure to nitrous oxide? If you keep pumping it into the room, you'll soon be deprived of oxygen and pass out. And if you give it up after that, everyone in the room will eventually die. What do you want, Sen? What do we need to do to get this door open? Oh, whatever do you mean, my wonderful Ink? I haven't locked the door at all. I haven't even engineered any puzzles for this room. There's nothing to fear, really. Now that you've acquired the first key, I'll unlock the red door for you. You may head back to the main lobby whenever you're ready. He's right, the door isn't locked. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Aether held the door ajar as the other contestants proceeded to leave. One of them, however, didn't budge. Beth? I'm staying! Ha, <laughs> good one. B what? Beth, if you stay, you'll... I know what will happen if I choose to stay. Why? You don't want to die, right? Beth closed her eyes and said nothing. But why? I wouldn't expect you to understand, but thank you for your concern. It's very sweet of you, Aether. Being in my garden, this is the happiest I've been in a very long time. Things haven't been the same since I woke up from the three-month sleep all those years ago. 
This is the happiest I've been in a long time, probably because they're, you know, poor and whatever. Oh, she's getting high off of it. And now you're, and now you'll be going to sleep once again. Fitting, wouldn't you say? You. And increase the flow of nitrous oxide. If you would like to avoid being put to sleep, I would advise you to leave now. You fucking planned this? That is correct. Now, if you'll excuse me. Bastard, that's low, even for him. What sense goal here? It's so strange. Ank, we need to leave right now. What about Beth? I've made my decision, I'm sorry! I'm not gonna let you give up just like that. That's insane! Ank, it's her decision. Let her stay. You wanna leave her? I don't want to leave her, but what other choice do we have? What are we going to do, drag her out against her will? It's not worth risking anyone else's life to save hers. I mean, statistically, she'll probably die first anyway. How could you say that? It's the truth. I'm leaving before this gas starts to seriously affect me. I'll be waiting outside. Liza, wait! Thanks, please did nothing. Liza was gone. As much as I hate to admit it, Liza's right. Not you too. I know, it sucks. But if she wants to die, what are we supposed to do? Help me convince her to not throw her life away. Beth, is there anything I can do to change your mind about this? Nope. This is how I choose to die. I won't be any more as I am right now. I see. In that case, take care, Beth. I'm counting on you to help the rest of them escape, you hear? <clears throat> Loud and clear, Beth. Loud and clear, Beth. Loud and clear, Beth. Wipe that grin off your face. This isn't funny. Sorry, must be the gas. I'm leaving. You should too. Before you get tired. His heart sank. It was gone. Damn it! <laughs> the nitrous oxide was starting to take its toll on Ink. He felt light, sleepy, and inexplicably happy. Aether, please don't leave. I won't, not until you do. Thank you. You two really should leave, you know. I wouldn't want you to die on my account. I don't want you to die on your account. I've had this coming for a long time. I deserve this. Beth, what happened all those years ago was not your fault. I know you blame yourself for what happened, but your family wouldn't want you to throw your life away like that. I've already thrown my life away, Aether. My candle has been burning low for years. It's about time someone snuffed it out. How do I change your mind on this? Do you know what nitrous oxide is used for? You use it to dull pain. It's an anesthetic and analgesic word. <laughs> That's right. I've been in pain for 14 years, but not in this room. I don't feel it anymore. I feel like my family is right next to me. The garden, the lightheadedness. I'm happy. I was always lightheaded in my in my young age. 
Beth? No, please leave! Don't die here! You're not- Aether and I won't leave unless you do. Do you want to be responsible for our deaths as well? That's an empty spider father for her one. I know you'll smart up and leave as soon as I pass out. You think I'm kidding? I know you wouldn't let Aether die and that she wouldn't want you to die either. I don't think how I, I haven't noticed how you two have been eyeing each other. I am. Uh... We, um... Don't be so bashful. You only get a few shots of young love, you know. No, go. Leave me to die. It won't be so bad, really. Ink, what do we do? I don't know, Aether. I don't know. Ink fell to one knee and sty... Stymied? Is it stymied? Yeah, I think so. I swear I've seen that word and it's not pronounced... Ah, whatever. Ink fell to one knee and stymied a laugh. A tingling sensation crept up his legs. Atrophy gripped Ink as he tried to stand. He was telling his body to move, but it had stopped listening to him. He suddenly regretted staying in this room for so long. I... I can't stand up. Here, I'll help. Aether tugged at Ink's left arm, trying to peel him off the ground. I feel weak, Ink. The nitrous is eating at my strength. We need to leave. He's faking it. I... Arg. In his delirium, all Ink could do was laugh. He was fraught with fear, and still he laughed. The nitrous <laughs> had really taken effect so quickly. Har 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 har. I just wanted to help. The door popped open behind him. Before Ink could even turn his head, he was already in the process of being hoisted by a figure on his right. Get up! He did. It was much easier with Liza's help. You came back? Beth can do what she wants, but I'm not letting you die. You're our strongest puzzle sol solver, loathe, the loathe as I am to say it. You're my best chance for getting out of here alive, and I'm not going to have you die over something as stupid as this. Stop trying to play the hero. Liza. Now let's go, you. Oh, Liza's grip on him loosened. Ha. Huh. Oh, look at her face, oh. she's so happy. It was a quiet laugh, edging closer and closer to madness. Ink's mind was engulfed by a singular thought. She's kinda cute when she smiles. You like Aether, you traitor. Stupid gas. Let's go. Ink's feet seemed to move on their own. Liza and Aether guided him along. He shambled toward the escape until he finally crossed into the adjacent room. Still delirious, Ink crashed against a nearby wall and fell to the floor. With a loud thud, the door to the garden closed, never to reopen. <coughs> so, so, so. Why'd you change your mind? Why'd you change your mind? Why'd you change your mind? Oh, okay. There. there she is. Oh, what a huge surprise. Wait, what? Oh, you didn't oh. expect that? Brody, she wasn't did, going to kill her. When, when she saw that Liza came into the room and how, how Ink, you know, he, he popped a boner real fast, because apparently... <laughs> That's I mean, what nitrous I, I think... oxide does, I guess. <laughs> I mean, he saw Liza and he was like, Whew, who's Aether again? And and <laughs> she, she said, there's only a few chances at young love. Well, he's got two, and you know what the cuter one is. And she was like, that gives me hope. And and, and, and she followed them along. Neat. Chris, she's 18. And legal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or 18. What's your point? I mean, Ink is like Oh, what, you're not, Matt. You're not. Wait, wait, wait. Earl's daughter, even if it was like a toddler of like age four, that was like 14 years ago apparently. That means 
if her daughter was still like his daughter was still alive, she would be about eighteen, nineteen right now. Who? Maybe even older. So, daughter? Just think about that. Like Earl's daughter, her grandchildren. Charlie. Maybe about Ethan thinks Liza's age. Whoa, 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 Alex! Wouldn't that mean that Ellen was like a teen pregnancy? Possibly. Dude, I never realized that. What? What? <laughs> what? We didn't. We didn't just get the information that Liza's Ellen's daughter, or whatever. Like. No, I'm talking about ages. I. Uh, I don't know anymore. Hmm. So huh. it was Ellen, her husband, Earl wasn't there. So and there was one granddaughter, and it was Beth. So there's four people I can think of right there. Oh, her well, six people, six people. Yeah, but who were there and one person made it out. That's why there's millions of dollars worth of life insurance. So that means five are dead. So it's Ellen, Ellen's husband, the grandchild, Beth's husband. That's only four. Who's the fifth one? Or was there two grandchildren? Well, earlier. Beth said that only her grandchildren can call yeah. her grandma, so I'm guessing there's multiple ones that died that day. And she only remembers that one so vividly because she heard the scream and the pace and everything like that. Right. And Earl wasn't there. Yeah, I didn't count Earl. Oh, you didn't? I thought you I said, said Earl. I said Ellen, Ellen's husband, one grandchild, and Beth's husband. I guess. What about, what about the other grandchild? Oh, I guess there's this other grandchild. Most likely. I mean, maybe there were three. I don't Wait, know. maybe Ellen's child is one of them because it was Earl's daughter. So perhaps Earl's daughter and then Ellen's child as well for making two children because Ellen and Earl were siblings. Yeah. Wait, what about Earl's wife? I'm just guessing she wasn't there. I feel like we're, uh... okay. Can we just talk about how the um, how um uh, um Ink's four companions re- kind of represent the four elements in their own way? Sure. Like Bath is very down to earth. I don't think oh I need to explain God. that one much more. I don't really think. She's uh, yeah, not really. Ray is prone to anger and lashes out, and that normally represents fire. Cause like rage. So are you guessing that could be the red door? Yes. I mean, I thought the elements representing earth, wind, fire, and air, whatever, was just a joke. It was. No, it's too like, and then lies like the air element represents um innovation, outspoken. Mm, yeah, that one doesn't make any sense for the other ones. Maybe I'm wrong. But it. Maybe the red door. I mean, lives is the same as Ray, though, so she could just as easily be red. What do you mean, Liza? Liza came back for them. Ray didn't. Yeah, but she's also very like prone to anger and lashing out. By the way, I don't like how it ended because it showed Beth for like half a second, and then it just said end game. It yeah. should make you hit enter yourself right there. Yeah, I thought you, I thought it lagged out or something, and then like it showed a frame from earlier. Like what's going on? Uh, I, I didn't click. Not it was just pop gone. It says that was a little quick. If I had blinked, I wouldn't have seen it. So you know, just to maybe update the game. Get the password. Get the password. Huh. Didn't Beth say at some time that uh, Ink reminded her of Earl? Did that? Did she say that? Yes. 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 So that's probably what's going on, or something. And then Liza reminds her of herself. Wait, what? That doesn't. Nope. That doesn't make any sense. Hold up. Or, or Liza is uh, Liza's Earl's. I don't know, girlfriend or whatever. And that's why she did, cause they're totally gonna bang, dude. Screw Aether. No, no one likes Aether. We want Liza. Oh, Han. Yes? Slash, she's got the money. Something on that note. Liza and Beth are both short for Elizabeth. Huh. Hmm. Jeez. Huh. Huh. I always just thought Liza of Lisa, and then that was it. 
Bethany. Also, Beth could be short for Bethany, so it's not like confirmed or anything. So what you're saying is Liza and Beth are related. No, that's <laughs> not what I'm saying. <laughs> He's saying that the person writing this doesn't know very many names. I mean, I like the name Liza. That was pretty cool. I don't like the name Ink. Who does, am I right? Yeah, yeah I mean, like, he made up two names. The third one's misspelled, and the other two are the same, according to Matt. I don't know. For some reason, even though I wasn't there for the chapter, the blue ink and black ink... I think the reason why his name is, like, Ink might be because he was the one who noticed that and was, just, like, strongly associated with that. Just like, what? Why is it different colored? Like, that's the only reason I can think Ink. So this Ink guy... is named Ink because he's, he's an, isn't he an English major? And Ink is usually represented through writing, and writing and English go hand in hand. That's why he's Ink. Why is Aether a psychology major? Yeah. Well, Aether's the fifth element. That's why she's named Aether. It's a reference to the name of the hotel. What? Beg your pardon? In and... Greek... Chinese mythology, it only has the four, but in Greek mythology, there's a fifth one. It's called Aether. It represents the soul. And also, an array is like used in programming. Ray is a programmer. Yeah. Okay, what about Liza? That's one of the normal names. Okay, what about Beth? She's old. Okay. That's, that's all, right. all you got is she's old. I figured out two of them. <laughs> you, you you have a theory on two of them. You need to just figure it out, buddy. I don't think he's going to go in depth with the reason behind all of their names. I don't think any. I mean, is. Beth did say that there is meaning behind a name. No, there's not. We're not analyzing that close. Yeah. We're just dumb college students. But she's not. Did they... She's not going to base all of this <laughs> off the other puzzles or whatever. Brian, did they what? <laughs> did I think it was it Ray that at one point? No, I think this might just be in my mind. It, acronym. Could scent like be an acronym? Did they mention that at some point? Uh, I don't know if they did. I know we did. We did? Okay, that's where I heard it. I got more things to bring up. All right. All right, shoot. All right. Uh, before the puzzle, when Beth started bleeding. All right. Thought dialogue. Hmm said, is there something specific that triggers it when talking about the blood? Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, they Someone... both laughed beforehand, right? They were both happy beforehand? I don't know about Liza. I don't remember Liza. I also don't remember Liza. I don't think she... I don't remember her being happy, though. What did... Uh, did it happen in the chapter where they were in the tunnel or whatever? Yes. Yeah. She said something like, I don't believe that for a second. And then screamed out, ugh. And then started vomiting. So, so the specific dialogue that happened immediately before. Well, she doesn't sound as happy as, you know, as the other two. Because Ink, Ink was laughing, and uh, Beth afterwards said, I'm oddly happy here. I think Ink in the first chapter said, it's almost hard to believe. And Beth in this one said, it's just impossible. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe when impossible things happen, or, like, you know, outrageous things come to, come to play, it, it triggers, I don't know, like, intense stressful emotions and causes you to, you know, slightly hemorrhage. Is that... Uh, and then the second time Ink threw up was when he saw the two pens that he just did not understand how that worked, and he had problems seeing how that could work yeah so you know when something outrageous happens and you get super stressed sometimes you just you just gotta puke up a little blood 
happens to the best of us. It's college life, am I right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you take too much Adderall to keep up with the homework, am I right? Honestly, dude, just too much taking Adderall. It's the only way I can pass my tests. Adderall, coffee, you know, any stimulant you got. I mean, like, all right. Uh, so Hen said he had a question on Beth's family. Oh, it was the thing with the all six of them. We already we covered that. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, so you guys have now experienced a corner. What is Sense goal? To make them all kill themselves, except for uh, Ink, I guess. <laughs> That's but <laughs> I don't know. To make each one of them realize something about themselves, but there's only Order, four. Um, what? Sorry. Oh, there's only four corners, so someone's got to be left out. So I'm assuming was, it's gonna be Ink. I was gonna say to like to remember something, uh, something dark in their past. Yeah, like learn something about the other people. Or I mean, that one could have just been the past because it was like relishing the past, like for the hint. Just something, you know, bad. Like Aether is present because her dad hates her or something, you know? Like, something like that. And so the red door, which is the new corner, is relishing the present. Was it? Yeah, it was It was the past or the present. So maybe the it is Aether. Maybe it's Ray because Ray's life, like, sucks because he dropped out of college and now he's, like, a garbage computer programmer, can't even make a good video game. Failed as a game developer. No one greenlit his project. Dude, honestly, he probably tried making like a Skyrim 2 and it just screwed up. <laughs> or a really shitty mobile game that no one liked or downloaded <laughs> ever. Like Cookie Clicker. Yeah, he probably made Cookie, Kill <laughs> Cookie Clicker. Uh, Listen, there... guys, I probably should go because I have an early morning. All right, let me Same. let me sign off this video, I guess. Bye. See you around. Uh, he has too many things. Okay, well, I was. What are you gonna do about it? Bye.